Okay, so a little more about selection. Um, the selection, I mean, there's a huge range of options. I'm just going to go through some of the basics that I kind of use all the time. Um, so under our selection options up here, we have tweak, select box, uh, circle select, and select lasso. So tweak, uh, if you click and you shift to uh, select polygons um, and keep going around, um, you will select polygons as we did in the previous video. So it's uh, select one, shift select, select another and another. And if you shift select on a selected box, it will toggle whether it's added to the selection or not. Um, if we use the box select, we can draw a box with uh, left mouse and that will select all of our mesh or all of our polygons. If we use circle select, um, you might imagine that that draws out a circle. Uh, it doesn't, it's basically a paint select. So if you use uh, the left mouse button and just paint over the, the, um, the polygons you want to select, you'll select them. Uh, that won't select through, uh, so just be aware of that. And then we have the lasso select. So if I left click and draw a lasso around our model, you notice I didn't get the bottom there, that quite often happens with me. Uh, I just need to draw a wider kind of thing. No. Well, that's something to watch out for. Um, I find that sometimes it selects everything I want and sometimes it misses a hidden one underneath. That's fine. Um, you just have to be aware of it and then add it to your selection. So let's uh, just, let me zoom out a bit. Oops, and try that again. There we go. I, I got to a, a greater distance and now it's selected everything. I think it's just something to do with the uh, the tool and whether the lasso is actually selecting everything within its area. Okay, so yeah, something to be aware of there. Um, I often find that, you know, I think I've selected everything and I haven't. It's just worth a look. Okay, so that's the basic selection uh, modes. Uh, but quite often you want to select certain groups of polygons in terms of like a, a polygon loop, a, a ring of polygons uh, around your model. And uh, with this uh, cube, they're gonna be quite limited. So if I just go around and manually select those, that is a polygon loop. So each polygon is adjacent to each it, the, yeah, adjacent to each other and they form a loop and go around in a circle. Um, so I could either do it that way uh, or I could do it in a much quicker way, which is to use the Alt key. So with nothing selected, I've just clicked off the mesh. If you press the Alt key and point near to an edge in the direction you want to select, it will select that poly loop. So I've selected the one here, which is going around. If I select the one at the top, it will go over the over and under the model. And if I select in the middle, it won't do anything because it doesn't know which direction to go to. So you have to be kind of directional with your selection there. Okay, so that's uh, poly loops. As I said, there are many, many, many different ways of selecting things um, in every program. Um, there's just some basics, just something to get used to, something I uh, use a lot. Um, and in the next video, we'll get on and start to actually perform some modeling operations on this cube to turn it into something else. So I will talk to you then.